good morning you guys I start off my morning by working until Vinny wakes up you guys know the drill by then it took a break when he woke up and we got to build this really cool rocket out of these toys that he had got from his birthday and honestly he fit inside so it was really cool to just play and I love childhood and creativity I ended up making us breakfast banana pancakes and this is on my app which I love I feel like a lot of my recipes are on there which proves so handy when I'm like wait what's the recipe for that it's all in one place for me so I absolutely love that for the app that not only are there workout programs but also a ton of recipes that I love and even some additional ones that I have used like some I've made up and some that I get from other people as inspiration. So making the family breakfast this morning and I'm planning to do a workout. I don't know if you're the same way, but I really struggle with nighttime workouts and that's currently I'm going in between early morning workouts and late night ones. And I just do so much better in the morning waking up and having that be a part of my routine. But still, it is a little bit hard to get motivated and get to the gym. I feel like it's taking me a while to find my way back there, but I'm giving myself a lot of peace and grace and knowing that the holiday season is coming up and I'm again going to take a small step back in order to enjoy that time with family and traveling and it's all going to be okay though and i want you to know that too for yourself so don't get too stressed and make sure you enjoy this holiday season and time spent with family loved ones or whatever you do good morning my hair is so greasy so we got to use styling cream and all this look gel we want i'm thinking of doing like a high bun Ugh. oh this is cute <sighs> pony is cute today it's a little bit of a mountain. Maybe I'll tuck some of this in. I like just hate when it gets pointy. For skincare and makeup, I've always been pretty bare minimum when it comes to the gym, but I've gotten even more minimal. I just wash my face and then use moisturizer and like a moisturizing toner too. That's all I use. And then I will use a little concealer and mascara. Ready for the gym. Let me uh, just take a little seat right here because I am so sore from yesterday's workout. Oh my gosh. Like getting up and off of the floor. Are you joking me? Literally seems like such an impossible task right now. I'm so sore. I'm gonna have to foam roll for like 20 years. And I even did the massage gun this morning, still in pain. Yes, I'm in the same sweatsuit as yesterday. This one didn't get dirty. And I just didn't like, you know, my laundry just is a monster. We're gonna do pre-workout, we're gonna warm up, we're hitting push today, chest, triceps, shoulders. I truly though, like I went so light yesterday and I'm I'm hurting, like not a good hurt. I mean like not like a bad hurt, but like yesterday I feel like was the first time where my body was like, oh, we're getting back to it. And I'm like, yeah, we're getting back to it. And it's like, all right, we're getting back to it. Like it's gonna be a shock at first. So it's gonna be a shock. It's gonna be rough two weeks and then my body will be like, oh yeah, yeah, we, we got this, we got this figured out. So for pre-workout today, we've got, oh my gosh, I'm like a grandmother right now. My quads and glutes are literally sending me. I took creatine this morning and I was like, yo, you know what sounds really good? Some freaking orange juice. Do you wanna know what I don't have? Orange juice, but I do have tangy orange creatine. So I had a little cuppy cup of that. Just hit the spot, hit the spot. So already took my creatine. If I do unflavored, like I'll mix it, but that tangy orange, like that might be my new morning routine because that was so fire. About three fourths a scoop of pre. I don't want too much caffeine or beta alanine in a full scoop, maybe even a scoop and a half of pump. The audio is gonna get a little bit quiet for a bit, but hang in there. And you better be warming up before every single workout. You wanna know what I don't want? I don't wanna be injured. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do it. Taekwondo. I actually almost just hurt my shoulder messing around. Calm it down, calm it down. And I almost forgot to do a freaking outfit check. So I'm wearing the Legacy tank. It's full length, but I crop it. Like I tuck it up to make it cropped because I think that's cute. Love it, love the more coverage. And then I'm wearing the Adapt Flex shorts over body. I'm gonna get my headphones in, play some music. What well, push-ups. <sighs> And uh, yeah, let's go. All right, we're gonna start with incline. That's right. We're gonna, we're gonna start with incline bench because I don't wanna do flat bench right now. I wanna like work my shoulders just a little bit more and incline bench works shoulders and chest. Starting with 15s just to see how this feels. I literally thought this was gonna be so heavy. This is rooted, this is too light, okay. All right, we're going up to 25, see how they do.
That feels good. My core is starting to feel really strong again. I was actually able to activate my core that entire lift, which made it so much easier. People do not realize how important and crucial working your core is or engaging it, flexing it during lifts. When you implement that muscle group, beep. You know how you can just tell it's gonna be a good lift based on your first set? Like, I got it today and that makes me feel so good. I'm hoping up to 30. just because I'm already feeling it after the first exercise. I still need to build my shoulder press bench, but I'm still gonna shoot it. gets up to 40 45 pounds but honestly after having this be the second exercise I could feel it I could feel it so this is a challenge about 25 pounds so cool. now we're gonna try and hit lateral raises I've already done shoulder press and incline press and my shoulders are definitely feeling toasty Okay, so I've grabbed a little pier tans and we're gonna do some lateral raises. Yeah. It's so funny because lateral raises are one of the weights that like never progress. <laughs> like you will be lifting for five years and you're still at 10 pounds for lateral raises. I'm not gonna lie though, before surgery, I definitely had 15 pounds for eight to 10 reps and I've even hit 20s before, like easy. So I was like, oh, this is just something I don't ever try to lift more at because it's just always a challenge, lateral raises, but yeah, I don't know, I just thought that was fun. And surgery, always life-saving, okay? Not plastic surgery for me. <laughs> In case if you're new and you don't know. So, here we go. Good morning, you guys. I wanted to pick up the camera because I'm feeling good because I have been wanting to do certain things and I feel like I don't know why I haven't been. I don't know if you guys get like anxiety or just like overthink things, but finally I've been putting things into motion and just taking action and doing the things that I want to do. And I already feel so much better. Like if you watched, I think it was Vlogmas 2. I talk about like how I'm kind of disappointed and I just feel like a lot has fallen flat for me this year, but I feel like I'm picking things up and just feeling really good about that. 
Nothing makes me feel more confident and better than just having the things that I've wanted to do and physically taking action and just putting them in to work. Like that makes me feel so much better than just sitting around thinking about it, wishing I could do something. So I just wanted to like give you that little burst of chit chat. Today I do have a dentist appointment. As I picked the worst time, I can't get a workout in before, I can't get a workout in after. So I'm gonna have to go later tonight, which is a bummer. Like I put it right in the middle of my day and I'm like, why did I do that? But it's okay, we're gonna go to the dentist today and I've gotta go to the post office and mail some packages and then I'll catch up with you guys later for the workout. Vinny and I just took a little show break. We sat on the couch and snuggled and watched a show together and it was so fun. Anytime that he'll actually do that with me is so fun because he's a very active boy. He doesn't really like to sit around and watch anything, but that was a win. I'm now getting ready for the gym. So I think I'm gonna go for this bralette. I haven't worn this color yet. And um, I thought maybe it would go cute with like this. I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll try the animal. Oh, that might work too. So these are kind of the vibes I'm going for. You never did your train today. <laughs> nice Mario jammies. We're on day seven. Can you find seven? Seven. Yeah, we're on day seven. Did you already sneak that one? I did it. Let's see what's in here. Oh, oh you did. Okay, try eight. You took number eight too? Okay, try number nine. Oh, it's gonna be little. <laughs> a little, little bag wait, for the wait. girl. Oh, yeah, I'll just put it on the baby. Are you coming in? You need me to put it on? Yes. Oh! Okay, so he has like this train set advent calendar. Oh, there he goes. Got this for Uncommon Goods, which is one of my podcast sponsors. Even though the podcast is on a season break right now. They have so many good things. So I got this advent calendar and then I also got my niece and nephew. I have two nephews now and a niece. And I got them things from Uncommon Goods. They have like cute stocking stuffers and just good gift ideas. So like this is everything that comes in the kit, which is just super fun. I think that's a fun way to do an advent calendar. And that one was not too expensive. And then I also, you're literally on this one right now, is this puzzle one. I showed this on my Instagram. I'm obsessed with this one. I think after like going through recovery and having to really slow down, I was like, oh, I like to do things that are slow and unwinding. Like I picked painting back up. I was doing puzzles. I was reading again. I was like, wow, this feels so good. So I also got this advent calendar. So each day you get to do a different puzzle and it's like a different window. It's really cute. Again, that's from Uncommon Goods and I've been loving it. And Vinny's been loving to build his train sets. I'm almost debating if I wanna wear shorts. I can't figure out what color leggings would look good with that bra. Should I wear like a pinky red or should I wear blue? Oh. oh, yeah, let's see if I have any of those. I like the Everyday Seamless, here. Thank you, Vinny. My outfit, I'm wearing the Elevate sports bra and then the Everyday Seamless leggings. Could it be in my period and this is short? Okay, thank so you. So let's make this period. Would you like to, I'm gonna use, you wanna use your scissors and cut it? Whoa, do you smell that strawberry? Okay, I'm gonna mix mine up now. I'm just doing creatine and pump today. It tastes like lemon. Like lemon? Yes. Is it it's delicious? Lemon. I'm not even gonna lie, Vinny just dumped out almost this whole container of pump on the floor. Very sad, this is strawberry burst. It is very good. Strawberry burst is not good. Did you just say strawberry burst is not good? Mm. Yes. Are you being silly? No. For creatine? Creatine is so good. It looks like strawberry lemonade. Mmm, strawberry lemonade. It tastes really not good, but it tastes like good. It, even, it tastes like, I can't see it. Your little head is in it. I don't have you in to protect you too much, but you can wave your hand. See, do you see your hand? <laughs> high five, give me a high five. <laughs> Okay, but I'm adding in creatine as well. If you guys didn't know, Beam dropped creatine. Are you kidding me? I'm so excited. Say, let's get this lift. Let's get this lift. And do not forget your peanuts. Tonight 
tonight's workout ended up being really good and it's just one of those workouts where by the end i am so hungry so i was very ready for this dinner since recovering from my surgery getting my nutrition back on point has definitely been one of the harder things to get a hold of before surgery i was just not feeling good and then after surgery again not feeling good and i just really was craving comfort foods things will make me feel very homey and happy as i was going through a really difficult time which is totally fine but now that i'm feeling better and able to start incorporating movement i really wanted to focus on a vegetable forward dish for tonight it's something that i'm trying to work on is including more vegetables in my diet again because i used to always eat vegetables i feel like i was a vegetable queen but because i haven't had as many in a while one i know that my just skin and overall health has not been as good as well as my digestion has severely suffered from the lack of vegetables i've been taking the daily greens by beam which has helped a lot for me but i just really wanted to get back to a place of where i can focus on these whole nutrient dense foods eat like i used to and start feeling good and it takes a little bit of time for my body and my taste buds to get used to this again because it's been a while but tonight's dinner just sounded so good i ended up roasting tomatoes in the oven some delicious green beans mahi mahi and a chipotle sauce and i was proud of myself for getting in my vegetables which was a huge win for me and i just want you to know if you're also struggling with this you are not alone but this dinner definitely hit the spot this is really good i'm addicted to roasted pepitas i ate almost the whole bowl I hardly had some for here. I'm gonna make more. That is about to be like my next favorite snack. Oh my gosh. After what? What? <laughs> yeah. I said Saturday. I am tired. I'm gonna relax and unwind. Vinny's down. The kitchen is still a mess, but I'm hopping in the shower and then I gotta do my nightly skincare routine. I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair tonight because I'm just gonna work out again tomorrow morning. So, having to plan hair wash days 